are so happy to have you here. We are about to make a beautiful, soothing jasmine citrus bath salt blend today. We'll be working with pink Himalayan salt, coconut oil, jasmine flowers, mandarin oil, cypress oil, and jasmine absolute. That's right. We've been working on some of our other recipes, and today we're doing red mandarin, jasmine sandback, huh. as well as our beautiful cypress. Yes. Now, when you make bath salts, you can actually do a lot of amazing things with your bath salts. So this will just kind of be a little template for you so that you can start experimenting on your own. We're putting in six ounces of our pink Himalayan salt. It's a small grain. You can do fine grain, you can do sea salt as well. So yes. It's not just Himalayan pink salt, although it makes a beautiful, beautiful bath salt. Absolutely. So we're going to add six ounces in um, here. Right? It's okay if you get a little bit more in there. Um, because it's a bath salt and there's a lot of leeway in here. Absolutely. And again, it's about finding that consistency that you like. Especially if maybe you don't have um, a bath set up, you can convert this into a shower scrub. I'm going to just tear this now. Perfect. And we'll add our one ounce, which is 28 grams of coconut oil. Now, coconut oil, you can also substitute your favorite carrier. It doesn't have to be coconut oil. It just smells so gorgeous with these essential oils that we're using today. It does, it brings its own aroma to a blend, um, which some people love and other people shy away from. So it just depends on your, on your nose and what you like. If you are using coconut oil, make sure that it's unrefined because you want all the goodness in your coconut oil in your bath. Oh my, I love coconut oil. Oh, I do too. So we said 28 grams and we're still on our grams, which is one ounce. Now, I keep mentioning the second spoon, which is really helpful for me when I blend. All right, so at this point, we've got our coconut oil in there. It's not hard, hard, um, so it's gonna allow us to blend that in nicely. Mm -hmm. And to blend it, you know, it looks like, well, how are we ever gonna uh, blend this together? But it really is quite easy, and it melts as you're working with it. So this is where the beauty comes in, because you can substitute the oils that you have on your shelf. Yep. Ones that are skin nourishing, that aren't harsh on your skin, those are the ones that we look for when we look at bath salts because we're soaking in the bathtub. Yep. There you see that it's all blended up really nicely. And we're not going to put all this in our bath at one time. We're only going to put a couple tablespoons into our bath. All right, so let's add in our mandarin first of all. This is... Uh, eight drops of mandarin. This mm -hmm. is a red mandarin because it has, you know, more of that sweet citrus aroma. Green mandarin would work well too, so would sweet orange. And mandarins, whether, um, whatever color of mandarin you're working with, it's the same Latin name, it has um, almost the same chemical profile in terms of its chemical components. The difference is when the mandarin is harvested. Eight drops. Eight drops of mandarin. If you get a couple more drops in, that is fine. Um, so as you know, our journey through this tea season is coming up with blends that are very supportive emotionally as well as physically, because if we support our emotional body, we're automatically supporting our physical body. Oh, absolutely. Which is why we made a candle on our second time is so that as you're enjoying this beautiful bath soak, the bath salt in your bath soak, you can light that candle and you can just totally relax and rejuvenate. And then you can add on that uh, green clay honey face mask we made. All right, so our next one is six drops of cypress. Now cypress has that woody, almost a sweet, almost a peppery mm. aroma. Mm -hmm. oh, and it's so great at supporting our limb system. So when you've worked all day and your legs are a little bit swollen, Soaking in a tub with cypress, and even a different conifer if you don't have cypress, Siberian fir perhaps, um, white pine even, will really help support that lymph. It will help support soothing our body system so that we can help our bodies start to working at their capacity again. Absolutely. At their normal capacity again. Yes. All right, so six drops of cypress. All right. So now we have one drop. Now, as you mentioned, jasmine is a very expensive oil. So is our rose absolute. But you don't need nearly as much of this as you do 
the cypress, and the mandarin. Uh, one drop will go a long way in this blend. Mm -hmm. So let's put one drop of jasmine in. And if you don't like jasmine, you can substitute it with neroli or even lavender, the lavandula angustifolia. Vetiver. Would also make a beautiful oil in this blend. The last ingredient we have is our jasmine flowers. Super fun. Now we're not gonna actually put the jasmine flowers in our salt blend because this is enough for several baths. You just would take a nice heaping scoop and put this in your bath. And when you do, take part of your flowers and start to munch them up like this. Munch them up a little bit so that when they're in your bath and the hot water connects with them, you'll get a beautiful aroma uh, in your bathtub as well. It's just a really nice, serene experience. It really is. I would encourage you to come up with your morning and evening rituals so that you can have total relaxation, mm -hmm. be prepared for your night to get a good night's sleep, or in the morning we would use a different bath salt that would help energize us and get us going. I'm gonna give you a little tip here because I don't have a bathtub. I have a, a foot soap where I can soak my feet in this and this is, you could also do that with this, but if you wanna turn this into a shower scrub, which I did, yes, that's what I did, I would add more of a carrier, uh, either jojoba, I added hemp seed oil into mm -hmm. mine, hemp seed oil, um, marula, baobab, any carrier that you might have that is liquid, add that into this. That's all you need to do. But I also added in some fine grain salt because I like the fine and the small grain salt when I'm doing a scrub because I can do a deeper scrub. Wherever you're watching, links are right below. You can click and you can explore. Those of you who are watching over on YouTube, if you could please uh, subscribe to our channel, uh, like this particular video and subscribe by clicking that bell, we would love that. We really wanna be able to connect with you as we're putting out content. And also when you show us some love over there, it allows um, more people to see what we're doing here at Aroma Head, which is, um, really relevant for the times that we're in. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're watching the replay, thank you for taking the time and um, learning more about how to make a beautiful jasmine citrus, citrus bath salt blend. All right, everyone, we'll see you next time.